What's good, man? Look, we are about to get into it, okay? It's a CJ the Champ video he just dropped a couple of hours ago. It's 40 minutes long. It's 40 minutes long, man. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any time, bro. It's the heavenly demon, Do Flamingo. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most anticipated yet riskiest for you, trial of all time. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm playing press your luck with this one. But fuck it. <laughs> we do this for the people, nigga. So let's go and go ahead and get it started. Coming in at a whopping 10 feet tall. No exaggeration. And with so many yeah. crimes committed, I can't even name them all right now. Yeah. The heavenly demon, Don Quixote do Flamingo. So y'all already know how this goes. The evidence is on deck, ready to be presented. So go ahead, grab some popcorn or something to snack on. Cause Damn. without further ado, exhibit A. Don Quixote do Flamingo, one of the seven warlords of the sea and the king of Dressrosa. His name is feared throughout all the seas, and his drip is unmatched. But how did the heavenly demon become one of the biggest kingpins in the world? Well, we have to go back a good 33 years in the past. Now. Do Flamingo was a celestial dragon. Now, if you don't know what a celestial dragon is, allow me to explain. These are the world nobles, aka the biggest dickheads in the fucking world. Bra, bra, bra. Like, I've, ever since I started watching One Piece, right? I, it never sat with me the way it, it, sh it should sit. I think, like, with these things being the celestial dragons, why? Why, bro? Like, I, I don't get it. Brother, and I mean, come on, bro. They ain't even hiding it. Look at them. They literally have dicks on their heads. They're dickheads. Look at them. <laughs> alfalfa ass, jack jack ass <laughs> shit on their head. Now, uh, now Jack Jack, Jack, Jack Do Flamingo's father decided one day, everybody, I have an announcement to make. I would like to go live with the peasants. <laughs> Blasphemy. Now, this is a very big deal because the Don Quixote family are world nobles living in the holy land of Marie Joie, basically motherfucking Beverly Hills. And yeah. Don Flamingo's dad decided, I want to go live with the regular niggas, because why not? And this is some of the stupidest shit you could possibly do because everybody hates celestial dragons. Bruh, yeah. like nothing, like already nothing in this show makes sense. Like, I, I took a break, yo. I, I won't lie to you, man. Ever, uh, after watching, I, I actually watched um, the the whole Doflamingo saga and everything. The whole Dress Rosa arc. Yeah, Dress dress Rosa arc. I watched it and I took a break. I needed the break, bro. I needed the break because whew, I won't lie to you. Being a One Piece fan is hard work, bro. It's hard. Nah, it's, it's a lot of hard work, bro. To be able to be able to follow everything, not even Jujutsu Kaisen is so complicated, bruh. It's not. I'm telling you. That's from my own opinion. I they swear enslave to you, people. They're assholes. They don't even consider themselves human because they yeah. are the top of society. So the whole yeah. family ends up leaving and giving up their celestial the dragon status. And, uh, and obviously, little Duffy wasn't f and, with uh, it. I was already complaining. Little nigga was like, the Daddy, guy. where are the slaves? And why do I have on this peasant clothing? Oh, calm down, son. We're going to be living a simple, peaceful life now. Some bullshit. Now, <laughs> it's very clear that Doflamingo's dad doesn't have an ounce of evil in his body, like the other celestial dragons. He's a simple man, but an ignorant one, and he yeah. was about to get hit with a reality check. So the yeah. next day, him and Dofi walk into town. So his dad walks up to the vendor and says, I want to buy some apples. So the vendor's like, oh, tally home, brother. You must be new here. But this dumb ass nigga ends up saying, oh, yes, me and my family are from Marie Joie. <laughs> You what? So everybody shook. They like, what the fuck? If you from Marie Joie, you a celestial dragon, ain't you? And this dumb ass nigga is like, oh, oh, no, no, no. We we used to be celestials, but we're human now. And then it didn't help that Doflamingo just started going off on everybody, calling everybody peasants and shit. So they was cooked. Because later that night, they burned down their damn house. They is trying what to kill these niggas. What did damn. you think? What did you think, bro? What did you think? You know... 
we're, we're not even, you know, past the intro, but it, it, it tells you so much about the train of thought of people who are up there, bro. People who actually put themselves up there. People who consider themselves to be the highest of elite. They are so disconnected with reality, boy. My boy. If you listen to half of the things Bill Gates actually says, man. I, I don't know if you can keep a straight face when listening to that guy talk. From Salem Witch Charles type shit. Find the celestials and burn them. So they end up running for their life for days. As you should. Because a dumbass should. daddy was so f Get ignorant, thinking that a celestial dragon could live with regular people. And this man, mm. Dolph Lamingo, was shook. As a kid, this man went from the top of the world to the fucking gutter. Him and his mm. brother got beat Damn. for trying to steal bread because they had no money. Why people Damn. just laughing at him? Look at this bad bitch and a nigga with a panda head. I'd be damned if I see a nigga with a panda <laughs> head laughing at me. Like, look at little bro, this is terrible. And they mama end up getting sick and she end up dying. So at this point, Dolph Lamingo rightfully so hates his dad. As he yeah. should. This nigga's yeah. an idiot. You broke, yeah. you stink, and now your wife dead. It yeah. can't get no worse, right? Wrong! The people end up finding them. And I don't even know if I can say this word on YouTube, so I'm just gonna bleep it. They love them. These people start going off on them. I kid you not, bro right here said, Hang that nigga now! I got the rope right here! <laughs> and they just going off on them because that they're celestial guilty, dragons. Guilty, they got them. Guilty, guilty. They don't matter if Doflamingo's dad is different. You're still a celestial dragon to them. The people yeah. who treat commoners like garbage. So yeah. at this point, this was the breaking point for Dofi. Everybody just stops and just looks at him. They could feel this little nigga's anger from down there. Then bro just started talking like a rabbit dog. And then it happened. The man unlocked his conqueror's hockey. And this little nigga yeah, little knocked every single person out with his aura. <laughs> you got butter in your mouth. Now you see, here's the thing Man. with this. I'm not counting this as a charge. This is an act of self-defense. They mm. hung his ass, hung his daddy ass, and his brother. So even mm. though this man broadcasted that he got murder on his mind, he getting yeah. let off the hook with this one. So after that life-altering incident, Dofi goes to this run-down ass shack and ends up meeting this nasty ass oh. snot-nosed hunchback fat. I hate. One Piece characters so much, bruh. Y'all people who keep drawing these people, sometimes I have some disdain for y'all, bruh. Like, what is this, man? Like, someone please try to explain to me what this actually is, bruh. Motherfucker. Oh my god, I hate this nasty ass nigga treble. So this nasty SOB says, Dad, so I heard you knocked out all those people with your hockey. Now, me and my boys will start glazing you if you pass my test. So Treble gives him a gun and the Ito Ito no me. And this man, mm. Doflamingo, did not waste no time. He had murder on his mind. He went back to his dad and said, Fuck you all, nigga, and blew his brains out. Murdered his own father in cold blood right in front of his brother. And this right here is a good old case of patricide. Murdering mm. your own father. So mm. after Doflamingo murdered his father. He yeah, you, 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 he was actually a dumbass, bro. Like, I, I, nah, no, man, no. This is, see, when you, you, when you lose touch of reality... He brought his head back That's to Marijuana to try to get his status back, but they said, hell not nah, leave, peasant. So he ends up going back to Treble, and him, Diamante, Pika, and Virgo said, hmm, let's glaze this little nigga to the ends of the earth. And from <laughs> that day, the Don Quixote family was born, and they was not playing no games. These yep. four niggas would do anything for Dofi. Take, for example, one day, Treble finds Dofi beat up. So he asked him, oh, my glorious king, what happened? Ah, oh, man, some guys roughed me up i wish they were dead <laughs> okay <laughs> these dudes find the dudes that jumped them and trouble comes up to him and says you're the guys who roughed up dothy right <laughs> that little rock <laughs> we were just teasing them that's all <laughs> oh shit hey bro we was just teasing them i swear Shut up. damn damn he was not playing games with nobody <laughs> If Dofi wanted you dead, guess what? <laughs> You're dying. If he wanted your turf, guess what? Get the packing. This man took racketeering to another level as a 10 year old at that. And this was the wildest one. Diamante finds bro and says, Oh my glorious king, what happened to your knee? Ah oh, man, I just tripped on a crack in the road. Oh, 
And where's this crack exactly? And I kid you not, this nigga Diamante finds the crack in the road and says, fuck it, I might as well level the whole <laughs> So that's what they did. They looked <laughs> crazy. Crazy, but this is the squad you need, bro. This is the squad Look, you need, bro. Town. Except for and the whole slot and everything. Don I hate that family guy. I hate that guy, Make us clear the streets when they saw Dofi walking. Hide your kids, hide your wife, ain't nobody safe. The Dofi trial. Mm. Exhibit A wrap up. Patricide. Racketeering. Mass destruction. Multiple counts of murder. Mm -hmm. Stay, stay late close to Sukuna, though. Stay late close to Sukuna, though. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B, Joker. We now fast forward 30 years later. And at this point in time, Doflamingo is the most influential underworld broker in the game. <laughs> and he is also legs. one of the seven warlords of the sea. And before he became a warlord and they froze his bounty, this man had a whopping bounty of 340 million berries. <laughs> now imagine if the nigga wasn't a warlord. God knows how high that shit would be. But anyways, we now focus our attention to Mock Town and specifically Bellamy. Now, as we know, before this even happened, Bellamy fought Luffy and got absolutely embarrassed. One shot it to be precise. It looks mm -hmm. like Bellamy and his crewmate, who I ain't gonna lie, I forgot his name. I think his name is like Sarquees or Sharkisha or some shit. I don't know. But it looks like they're fighting each other and having a falling out. But that is not the case at all. Because you see this nigga Dofi sitting in the corner, controlling them with his string string fruit. And this man is pissed off for obvious reasons. Because this nigga Bellamy is trash. He got one shot by a human condom. And it was under Doflamingo's banner. The Bellamy mm. pirates were under him. So obviously that is a hit to his reputation. So Dofi said, fuck it, you useless piece of shit. And controls old boy like a puppet and slices him. <laughs> Had this man Bellamy begging for his life. Know. What makes this kind of sad? Let me give y'all a flashback real quick. Back when Bellamy was a straight young bull, bro used to look up to Doflamingo. He wanted to be just like him. I don't know why, bro is a terrible influence. It must have been the drip of the ore or some shit. But Doflamingo was his inspiration. But when they first met, Doflamingo clearly stated, if you ever lose under my flag, my Jolly Roger, I'm gonna beat your ass and make you unemployed. And well, the rest is history but of course <laughs> bellamy's still begging like B -b please j -j 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 just give me one more chance my glorious king but Dofi looked at him like bellamy how much you think my fit cost mm. uh, 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 30 56 million berries broke ass nigga damn yes. broke nigga uh, alert damn so this man don't 56 million man damn <laughs> Some of y'all extremely rich people would actually buy something like that, bro. That's what I hate about this world. If he got up, walked away and said, my fit costs more than your whole bounty. And I have mm. absolutely no use for broke ass niggas. And mm. slices this nigga. Bro just assaulted his most notorious glazer while firing him at the same time. Well, ain't that a hell of a way That's to get fired on your fire, day off? Well, we really don't even fire. get to see a glimpse of how strong this dude is until the Summit Ward, aka the grand opening for the greatest donut shop of all time, Crispy Aces. So before the war even started, you already knew bro was on timing. I mean, look at this bloodthirsty ass nigga, bro hitting the Uzi tongue. Damn. But the first victim of this man's bloodlust was none other than Lil Lors, big ugly ass boy. So Lil Lors is just stomping on niggas, trying to make his way to save El Donut. But this big boy ends up getting jumped in brutal fashion too. So it started off with Kuma, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was about to roast the shit out this man, but I just caught up on the manga. And after reading that backstory, I, I don't wanna roast you, bro. So even though you <laughs> built like an egg with some damn chicken legs, you off the hook, my nigga. So anyways, <laughs> Kuma shocks the shit out this nigga. Had this man or spazzing. And this man was so cooked, but he said, hell no, I'm at least taking out somebody with me. So he ends up aiming for Dofi and bro just looked at it like, really nigga? So bro ends up destroying the whole wall, but Brody ain't hit shit. Cause you see this guy flying thinking he's Cardi. 
then he talking shit to him in that air too. What's wrong, pussy? The Dolphy <laughs> man is right there. And you knew Oris was cooked because Dolphy made this man see his backstory. That's how you know uh. those screen time over. So Dolphy me go amputated, bro. Cut that big ass leg clean off. And he just laughing his ass off and saying, this is what you get for being a dripless man. One Piece characters have the craziest bodies, bro. This is crazy, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> And then get the his hog back, Look bowling pin. Bill. What is this? He's just laughing his ass off and saying, This is what you get for being a dripless Neanderthal. And then get. Look at this thing, man. Look at this. Nah, get bro. his hog back, bowling pin built ass. Hit him with that. Shee, 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 shee. Monkey. And it was raps. Mm -hmm. Them boys murdered Lil Lores, but Doflamingo was not done racking up these murder charges. So later on, Viking Humpty Dumpty ends up pulling up and saying, Doflamingo, fuck you in that feathered ass coat, nigga. So bro runs at him and tries to swing at him, but he stops. And Dofi just started talking shit, saying, What's wrong, water buffalo? Are you too mesmerized from all my sauce? And y'all already know what he did. He hit bro with his strings. He wasn't moving an inch. So all these other dudes end up running up. And yeah, a massacre was about to ensue. Bro right here runs up. He gets his balls chopped off. And Dofi just started puppeteering this man and making him kill his own men. This Damn. is tragic, but also just Damn. You made this man kill his own men. That's fucked up, bro. And while bro is massacring these dudes, this man gives off one of the greatest speeches i've ever heard and everything he said in this speech is 100 percent facts now obviously i can't play the audio but i'm gonna text it out for us we're gonna do a quick english project real quick so here we go pirates are evil the marines are righteous <laughs> these terms have always changed throughout the course of history kids who have never seen peace and kids who have never seen war have different values true, those true, who true. stand at the top determine what's wrong and what's right true, this true, very true. place is a neutral ground Justice will prevail, you say? Of course it will. Whoever wins the war becomes justice. <sighs> exactly. Exactly. Just look at the state of the world. Look at the state of the world. He's look, man. It's just an animation. It's just a cartoon. It's a look. Look, these things are written by real people who see what's going on out there, man. Some of these characters actually reflect the personalities that are actually in the real world. Okay, man, it doesn't take a genius to actually see what's happening out there, man. It's real out there, and whoever stands at the top ultimately can rewrite the course of history. That's just it. It's been happening, it will happen, nothing will ever change unless we deem that we can change it, okay? How about that? This motherfucker was cooking. Even though he's pure evil, he is actually speaking legitimate facts and you can't deny it. So after yeah. this, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Duffy just basically had a drip off of a crocodile for the rest of the war. So I'm gonna just translate this whole conversation for you. Oh, hell no. Gator boy, my nigga. I got a proposition for you. You got drip, I got drip. You yeah. get money, I get money. So what yeah. you say? Tag team? Man, fuck you, you pink feather flamboyant feminine ass nigga. Oh, nah, shut the fuck up with that fake ass gold claw. I know you got that shit from Timu. Fuck <laughs> you. And fuck you too, you tobacco loving, chain smoking son of a bitch. Damn. Damn. Now, most of this fight sadly happened off screen, but hey, only Oda know how long this sauce off went on for. So fast forward all the way to the end of the war and you just see explosions in the background. And the reason why is because <laughs> Doflamingo was jumping this 60% body fat eggplant because he basically had an assassination order from somebody up high. But Moria somehow lived. I, I don't know how, but it don't matter, nigga. That's still attempted murder. Now. It's time to move three years later. And at yeah. this time, Doflamingo's criminal enterprise is thriving. This nigga is anime El Chapo. And I mean, this man did everything from arms dealing and gun running to massive drug labs. One in Punk Hazard and one in Dress Rosa producing smile fruits for Kaido and had none other than Caesar Clown cooking that shit up. Bruh, this catch is bruh. I'll, I'll hand it, I'll hand, I'll hand it to, to the one piece writers and creators man. before watching one piece i was like ah one piece you know it sounds like some you know tomb force cartoonish you know teen titans go type stuff bruh then i watched it <laughs> man i've i've never seen such evil you know i've seen more evil in other anime but this type of evil bruh as a specific type of evil, you know what I mean? 
Like, like they know what they're doing. And they they, they, they plan on continuing what they're doing, brother. You know? Like this guy, for instance, like it, it doesn't take much for you to hate some of these fruits. And I kid you not, these smile fruits was fing niggas up. For example, take a look at Wano. Smile fruits hit Wano like crack in the 80s. This man Damn. is solely responsible for supplying these niggas to cause a drug epidemic. <laughs> Look how Man, this shit this hit neighborhoods in Wano, bro. They thought these hoes was just regular apples. Hell no. Nah. These hoes was laced. And everybody was eating them. Even the kids. And they lost Damn. all emotions except for smile and laughter. They basically ate Joker venom. Yeah, hell nah. The Don Quixote family needs to change their name to the Don Quixote cartel expeditiously. Uh, 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 so now we end up true, catching up true, with Dofi at true. one of his Dofi parties. Because you know what they say? There ain't a party like a Dofi party. And he gets a call from Punk Hazard saying oh young master the straw hats law and g5 is fucking with our product operations have halted so this man took extreme measures and basically said motherfucker you think that's my problem i got bitches here oh my god don't be coming the water <laughs> hold on ladies the party's just getting started Motherfucker, blow up the island. I'll send somebody to pick up Caesar's bitch ass later. Now, sadly, <laughs> Doflamingo's motherfucker, blow up the island. I'll send somebody to pick up Caesar's bitch ass later. Now, sadly, Doflamingo's plan to blow up the lab failed miserably because of Caesar's <laughs> dumbass. So this man was so pissed off, he said, fuck it. Niggas can't get shit done. So I'm gonna do it myself. So this man web slinged all the way to Punk Hazard. So later on, while G5 basically has the island under control, this man, Dofi, flies in saucy as fuck and just hits a superhero landing and everybody in g5 is stunned they like oh my god that trip the aura is the flamingo and look at this 10 foot nigga towering over these midgets nigga fuck <laughs> being a drug lord go to the league and no he ain't waste no time bro said the beat go off hey hey okay can my beat go off this man knocked out damn near every single soldier with Conqueror's Hockey. Didn't even lay a hand on him. Just hit him with the sauce. But he wasn't done. He ends up webbing up all the other Marines' guns and made them oh, all aim at yeah. each other. And this man elegantly made them all shoot each other. Damn! This saucy ass yeah, oh yeah, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Bro just murdered I don't know how many people, but he did it in the sauciest way possible. So then this one Marine is begging for his life. He like, please, I have a family. <laughs> Nigga, fuck your family. They should be ashamed of your broke ass. I know you don't get no paper. I know your bitch be fucking other niggas behind your back. You fucking cock. So what got so bad, Smoker had to intervene. But my God, this man got washed. Look at his sorry ass. He can't even land a hit. This is why you're not making Admiral, buddy. Look at him, bro, trying to punch him in the dick. Duffy looked at him like, whoa, slow down there, you freaky fuck. And this how you know this man, Smoker, is washed. This man already breathing heavy as hell, and they only been fighting for 30 seconds. He got two cigars in his mouth, bro. Pause. No, he got two cigars. Why do you have two cigars? Man. Then some of Smoker's men end up coming and try to bail him out. But bro tried to be chivalrous and save him. But ends up getting met with razor sharp strings and ends up getting flung. And after Smoker got cooked, Dofi just got real disrespectful. He sat on bro, grabbed his face like your mama about to beat your ass and was about to kill him. But Smoker ended up getting the bail out of the century. Because hey. Al Kiji pulled up and said, hey. I big dog, we gonna have to stop. Hey. And you see, Doflamingo was a smart man because he knows he can't win this fight. You think yeah. he's gonna fight a formal admiral and get embarrassed? Hell, Hell no. nah. Bro said, I'll take my leave. I got bigger fish to fry. And that fish, of course, is law in the straw hats. And especially law. Because these niggas got generational beef. The, the dope dope beat trial. trial. Exhibit B rap. Yes. Assault and battery. Murder. Mass murder. Arms trafficking. Drug manufacturing, possession, and trafficking. Yeah, the Doflamingo cartel is the right word, bro. Cause Alrighty, damn. ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Exhibit C, Corazon. So, 
There is a reason why Law has mad beef with Dofi. And it all started 16 years ago. Now, when Law first came to Doflamingo, he was very sick. He had white lead disease and his whole family is dead because the world government decided to murder everybody in that town because they all had that disease. So they raccoon city that bitch. Now, Law didn't have that much time left to live, but Dofi kept him around and said, there's a chance that you might be able to live. If you Man, you know what? It literally doesn't take much for you to become a villain in this world, bro. I swear to you, bro. With the world government? <laughs> oh, 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 man. You get this devil fruit called the Op Op Fruit. Because you'll be able to heal yourself. Also, the fruit's busted. So Law ended up sticking around with him. Doing some piracy, robbing some banks, and of course, catching bodies. And Dofi's main objective was basically to groom Law to become his right-hand man. Now, here's where everything goes to shit. Corazon, aka Doflamingo's brother, Rosinante, basically told him, Hey, little nigga, you got D in your name. And if Dofi figures out you got D in your name, he gonna kill your little ass. Because if you got the big D in your name, you are a mortal enemy of the Celestial Dragons. And also, Corazon is a narc. Hey, I'm a rat. I ain't no snitch. He is a undercover Marine trying to take down his evil brother. So you can kind of see what this is. These two are basically opposites and the what ifs of a tragic outcome. Yeah. Don Flamingo wants to burn the fucking world because fuck everybody. And Corazon wants to do good in the world and basically stop his brother because he's a crazy bastard. So yeah. Corazon ends up taking Law around for like six months trying to find a cure for his disease and getting him away from Dofi. Now, while this was going on, Dofi called them and said, come back to the ship. We got a lead on the op op fruit and we can cure Law's disease. Now with this in mind, Corazon decided, let's just go steal it so we can cure your disease and go into hiding. So Corazon gets the information from the Navy to where the fruit actually is. So later on, they Swallow. end up getting to the island and Corazon <laughs> ends up stealing the fruit, but at the expense of getting shot the fuck up. So after bro got shot up, but somehow survived, he made Law eat the fruit. And after that, he told him, this is some important intel I need you to give to the Navy that's on this island right now. So while Law went to go search for a Marine to give the note to, he found one, but the wrong one. Because the Marine he gave it to was Virgo, Dofi's undercover agent in the Marines. So Law brought Virgo all the way back to Corazon, and Virgo was like, what the fuck, Corazon? Oh, you narc. Ass nigga. And Virgo ended up this, reading this the intel. This man always had some weird, something weird sticking to him. Right, right, like. And kicks his face in. And Virgo did not hold back. He beat the shit out of Corazon. And then after that, he beat Law's ass. So then after they get their ass beat, Dofi arrives on the island. And this man is dripped out of his mind and pissed. Because his own brother was a rat. And Doflamingo knew something was off too. Because those six months that Corazon was gone, the Navy was off they ass. And every time Corazon was there, the Navy was there. So it was all over for his little bro. Dofi ends up setting up his birdcage over the island so nobody can leave. And he just went on a rampage until he found his brother. Killing literally anybody ah. and everybody that was in his way. So later on, when the family finally finds Corazon, they jumped the hell out of this man, beat the rat piss out of him, and played baseball with his body. The rat piss out of him is crazy, CJ. And this was just horrible. This man Gladius went to his body and said, How dare you betray the family, you rat ass nigga? So after they jumped him, Doflamingo came up to him and said, Corazon, my baby brother, a fucking narc. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Corazon, you know how hard it is to kill your own flesh and blood again. And my God, it, it pains me to do it. But do me a favor, baby brother, and say a load of pops for me. Damn. This man, Doflamingo, dumped about 10 bullets in this nigga and murdered his own little brother in cold Fretri blood. Fretris. Fretricide. Is that what they call it? Fretricide. Exhibit C wrap up. Piracy. Grand larceny. Mm. Murder. Mm. Mass murder. Fratricide. Fratricide. Okay. Exhibit B. Y'all ready, ladies and gentlemen? It is now time for Exhibit D. 
the Jesus usurpation Christ, of Dress Rosa. Now, Don Flamingo, as we know, is the king of Dress Rosa. But how did he become king? Yeah, <laughs> you might need to sit back for this one. So, 10 years before the present, Dress Rosa was a very peaceful nation that knew no types of war and had an honest king named King Riku. Now, the people loved King Riku. They'd glaze this man to the end of the earth. But sadly, this would change in a single night. So, on that tragic night, Doflamingo flew to the king's private quarters. So, he pulled up, waked this nigga up, and said, Don't even try calling for help, or I will slit your fucking throat right now. So, Dofi basically explained to the king that this land, matter of fact, this whole country belongs to me. And I finally come back to take back what's rightfully mine. So the thing is that the Don Quixote family used to rule over Dress Rosa about a good 800 years ago. Till they abandoned it and became celestial dragons. And now Dofi is back to claim what's his. Now he gave the king a ultimatum. He basically told him, we can either A, I will take over this entire kingdom and yeah. kill everybody. Or B, you can buy my kingdom for 10 billion berries. <laughs> So what's it gonna be, y'all, nigga? No, my, my wallet. Or run your pockets. So obviously the king had no choice. He had to run his pockets, but he ain't have enough money. So for the sake of the kingdom, he had to send out his soldiers and beg the people for money. And obviously the people are confused. They like, fucking Riku, we just paid our taxes a month ago. Yeah, man, this is some bullshit. I can't even pay my child support. I just got pregnant the other day. How am I supposed to take care of my child? What? So King Riku had to get on the big screen. Get on all fours and said, Please! We're broke! I know! It's shit, y'all just paid taxes! But fuck! We need this goddamn money! So the people said, You know what? Something must be wrong. Our glorious king needs help. So every single citizen they had emptied Damn. every dime they had because they trusted their king. Because he ain't ever done them wrong. So everything seems to be fine. They've paid off Doflamingo and they should be scot free, right? Psych! In the distance, you see this man, King Riku, coming at them on a horse. So obviously the soldiers think, ah, King Riku, we got the money. You didn't have to come all the way out here. But this man, King Riku is crying and saying, run away. I beg your pardon. And the king starts slaying people oh. and blowing shit right, up. Right, and you right, already right. know what's going on. Yeah. In the shadows, Doflamingo is yeah. controlling this man and making him kill his people. So Dofi didn't tell the king, but there was a option C. And that Damn. was to do both genocide and run your pockets. And the king wasn't the only one getting controlled. Dofi decided to control the soldiers as well and made them slaughter everybody. And they didn't spare nobody. Look at <laughs> this. This is a mama and her son. And this nigga said, pay your taxes. Look at this poor couple. This brother just got done baking at the bakery with all this cake. Just for this man King Riku to come and blow birthday backs out. And this went on for the whole night. Now, here's the part that's going to make you sick. Doflamingo and his crew are just up here watching this. And when the time was right, he said, All right, boys, it's showtime. These niggas hop down and knock out these soldiers, getting everybody's attention. And Doflamingo says, Greetings, everyone. My name is Don Quixote Doflamingo, and I've come to save you. <laughs> this man. This man. <laughs> now this is a straight Homelander ass move. Yeah. Bro made the king and his guards kill their own people just to come in and save the day. Mm -hmm. And this was the tragic part. He controlled the king and said, "Come on over. Make sure you look good for the camera." So Bro jumps down and smacks the shit out this nigga on live TV in front of everybody. And just off of that, this man just committed the greatest PR stunt of all time. Because the people are like, oh, oh my God, he, he, he saved us. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. And they chanted this man's name throughout the night while hoisting the king's body in the air like a trophy. And that night, Doflamingo usurped the throne 
and became the king Mwah. of Dress and, Rosa. And, and, now, and after Dolphin became fashion, king, man. he started to do some even more evil shit. For mm. an example, using sugar to turn damn near half the population into toys and making their families forget about them, forced these Tantata low niggas to basically be slaves and work in his drug lab, had some of the old soldiers become man, black. Nah, man. Like I said, bro, when I watched One Piece, man, I was like, you know, it's supposed to be some Teen Titans go stuff, but damn, that's just deep stuff, right? And force them to basically kill each other. And apparently mm. he did something with Viola. I don't even know if this is true, but a lot of people say it is. So uh, I'm just leave this here. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Damn. Dope trial. Exhibit D wrap up. Blackmail. Genocide. Usurpship, brainwashing, slavery. Mm. Exhibit B. Mm. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final exhibit. Exhibit E, Woo! the heavenly demon. Hey. We now set our sights on an island Finally. called Green Bit, just off the coast of Dress Rosa, and we are observing a trade. Well, what was supposed to be a trade between Law and Doflamingo. Mm. Now, Law took Caesar as hostage after Punk Hazard to get some leverage on Doflamingo and make him leave the Warlords, so he would lose his Navy immunity. And also, Dofi needs Caesar to make some more of his smile product. But mm. tragically for Law, this plan failed miserably. Because Doflamingo was two steps ahead. Because this man used his celestial dragon leverage on the government and falsified a whole story about how he left the warlords when in reality he didn't. And he had this man Law shook. He ain't know what the fuck to do. His whole mm. plan blew up in his face. So Law was like, ah shit. Well, I'm just gonna battle. So this man Law got the running while Doflamingo was hawking his ass down. And it didn't help that Fuji Taurus ass was here trying to drop meteors on the nigga. And this man Law was fighting for his life in this jungle. Look at Dofi come behind him. Nigga finger sniped him. Brought this man Law to his knees. Then he came down and told him, I, that, that, you ain't going nowhere, little nigga. I've been waiting to kill your ass for 13 motherfucking years. And look at Dofi, bro. This nigga think he's Spider-Man. Out here just webbing shit up and throwing it at him. And I don't even know how long this game of tag lasted for because we know how that dress rosa pacing was good mm. god but anyways bro they ended up getting to the beach and while dofi's chasing law he ends up hearing a loud ass scream and it was from the sunny from chopper nami and brooke being loud as shit and dofi just looked over there with a big old smile on his face like oh law you dumb fucked up now so this man flew over to the ship posted up on him and dofi was ready to make the sunny the titanic but out of nowhere here comes final form simp sanji out here yelling at this man like stay away from my nummy swan <laughs> like oh come on she not gonna let you hit but anyways Dofi did not take this fight seriously at all look at him he got this big ass grin on his face then this man threw out his attack backflip for style points and told him whoa there buddy let's not burn the coach this shit costs more than your life ah! damn Bro had this man Sanji cooked in one hit. But Sanji started thinking to himself while he was free falling. Oh, if I beat Doflamingo, Nami Swan might let me hit. Yeah. So this man Sanji got a second win and started trying to kick the life out of this man. But Dofi just put out his hand and said, time out. Bro had this man Sanji just stuck in the air. And bro just looked at him and told him, the fuck I just told you about fucking up my coat. I already told your ass this shit costs more than your life. So this man charged up his own. Did you just put your filthy feet on my coat now? He was ready to kill Sanji. But right when Dofi was about to hit him, here come Law with the room. And he ended up teleporting Dofi away from Sanji. And you could tell this man Dofi had the intent to kill this man. Because he had to throw the attack out. And it landed all the way back in Dress Rosa. And just cut a building in half. Yeah, buddy, that's attempted murder. You tried to put this simp six feet under. So this man Law had to take this miniature big back big mom as a hostage. So the straw hats could escape. But later on, they end up having a standoff on this bridge. And I kid y'all not, this was not a fight. This was a sheep coming to the slaughter. I mean, look at this man, Law. He running for his life again. My Doflamingo's just cutting the bridge in half and yelling at him like, what's wrong, pussy? I thought you was gonna spin back the Korra, but you still a bitch. But Law at least tried something. He tried to throw all the debris at him, but Dofi just cut it to pieces. Then Law tries to come behind him, but Dofi hits a perfect parry, dodges the attack, then shatters this man's jaw with his foot. And the beating just got worse from here. This was like a parent whooping their kid's ass. For, for, for people who are not accustomed to One Piece episodes, man, just know, just know 
that it will take you appro approximately, approximately, wow, I can't speak, approximately five to six episodes before stuff gets popping. That, that's that's what you need to know. That's what you need to know. And disobedient as hell. I mean, look like at three this. Three episodes from and Captain and Flashbacks. Then just started spamming and two episodes to set out the mood. Yeah, six episodes. Six episodes. Screaming yeah. in pain. And this wasn't even the worst part. Doflamingo Flamingo walked up to him, lifted up his hand, pulled the strings at him, even took out his legs. Bro was literally rolling around and screaming in pain. And this wasn't even the worst part. Doflamingo Flamingo walked up to him, lifted up his hand, and he slapped this nigga across Dress Rosa. And oh god, this was probably this man's most savage moment in the whole series. Law is already cooked, but Don Flamingo decided. Remember when you had lead poisoning, Law? Let's see if you remember how that felt. And he started dumping bullets of lead in him. And look at his. Bruh, like, I, I don't, I don't, like the damage, the damage that One Piece characters inflict on each other and, you know, that they, they, they receive, man, it's just. I get it, but it takes me out sometimes, bruh. Like it takes away the um, the impact. You know what I mean? Freaky ass nigga out here licking the blood. Hell no! And Law was done. He should have been dead. The amount of plot armor Law had in this arc is fucking ridiculous. Mm. Cause this is not the first time bro should have died, as we will see later. So now we fast forward a fat minute, all the way till Sugar got knocked out and all the toys turn into people again, and the whole population turns on Do Flamingo because mm. they realize, wait a minute, this nigga's an asshole. Mm. He turned half the population into toys, brainwashed us, and committed a coup d'etat. Get this nigga out of here. Mm. So then the one-legged demon Kiros came in and cut off this man's head, and everybody's in shock. Everybody like, oh my god, Dofi just died to a side character? Psych! Niggas thought it was gonna be that easy. Yeah, this man could use string clone jutsu. So he got behind Kiros and kicked the roof off of the palace. Good God, this man got some strong ass legs with them fucking leg hairs he got. <laughs> so then here come Luffy trying to be a hero, even though he's a terrorist. Out here trying to hit that man with that Even though he's a terrorist. I mean, everyone is a terrorist in One Piece except for the civilians. Even the civilians sometimes go out of pocket. But hey. Catelyn, but the clone came behind them. Blue is back out. Then Dofi looked at him, cocked back his fist and told him, get the fuck off my property, broke ass nigga. Mm. Hit Luffy so hard, probably made him even more stupid in the head. So he made Pika throw everybody off the cliff. And at this point, it was over for everybody in Dress Rosa. This man set up the birdcage, mm. got on the big screen and said, people of Dress Rosa, I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know this now. I have fucking hated all you stinky ass peasants mm. ever since I came to this fucking island. Mm. So now all you broke ass niggas can go fuck yourselves. So let's play a game. If you kill any of these bitch ass niggas on this board, especially that long nose Pinocchio nappy head ass <laughs> fuck, I will make you rich. What do you say fuck me for? <laughs> and you also have 24 hours before I destroy this fucking island. Mm. So this man, Dofi, sent the island into chaos. This man started another genocide just because he got pissed off. So now it was finally time for the Malice at the Palace One Piece edition. Mm. Law and Luffy versus Doflamingo. Oh, I forgot. And Bellamy's here. Bruh. Bro was emotionally abusing this man the entire arc. We all know that Bellamy's this man's biggest glazer. So mm. Dofi decided to use this man as a puppet. Look at Luffy. Bro tried to kick him. And Dofi just used Bellamy's face as a human shield. He was straight up abusing this nigga. Then look at him. He put bro on some strings and said, damn, Sad, nigga, bro. fuck up that walking Sad. condom for me. But Law and Luffy was just mad at Dofi for just watching him in that chair. So they hit that man with that Red Hawk team up. And Luffy really punched the shit out this oh. man. This is the first time you see bro actually hurt. Bro mad as hell thinking in his head like, motherfucker, you know what just didn't get hit by this nigga in them broke ass sandals. He's about so to man, crack Luffy up. Said, hell crash nah, up. You ain't getting away with yeah. that. So bro started Time for that crash up, man. Luffy sent his stupid ass flying again. Then he decided to stab the shit out of law. Bro says, sit your bitch ass down before I beat the shit out you again, boy. Then he hit this man Luffy with a nasty combo. Bro launched him in the air, grabbed him with his strings, then yanked him all the way back to Bellamy, who he was controlling, and slapped 
sliced them. Oh my goodness. These boys was really getting cooked by a man with a flamingo coat and some short ass capris. So Dolphy kicked Luffy's face in again, separating him and Law and making Luffy fight Bellamy. And my god, Law. This man took probably the worst beating in the series right here. Just look at this. Dolphy ended up grabbing Law, then makes them both somersault, crashing into the ground, and amputated this nigga Law's arm. Another case where Law should be dead in this arc. A but lot of people should be dead in One Piece, bro. We should just get, you know, keep it moving, bro. That, 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 that's just it. Next part is really when Law should have been fucking dead. Dolphy walks up to him, puts the gun up to him, and tells him, die like the broke ass nigga you are. Then just started shooting this man over. And How many over times and does this make this, bro? Again. He shot so many bullets in him, he kept on pulling the trigger thinking he had some more. And again, this is another instance of where Law should have died in this arc. Nigga cheated death three times just for him to get up and hit Dumpy with a gambling knife, bruh. And Law really thought he was him right here. He was talking crazy to Doflamingo and saying, yeah. This is my get back for Korra, nigga. So he hits Doki with a counter shot, basically with all the power he has left. And Law think he done killed him. But no. This man rose from the dead like the Undertaker. And you want to know how this man survived that attack? He stitched his organs together with his strength. Nigga gave himself surgery mid-fight. So Doflamingo is standing over Law, about to smash this man's head in and get a fatality. But Hold here it. come Luffy, bailing out Law. Nigga, how many times is Law gonna get bailed out this fucking arc? Like, dog, you should time. be dead. This nigga Law gotta be a cat or some shit, cause he gotta have like nine lives or something. So here comes that Nika Luffy himself. Bro kicked off them dusty, busted, broke-ass sandals and transformed into this fat-ass balloon. So obviously when Doflamingo first all gear forth he was laughing his ass off. blood was like what the fuck is this am i supposed to be scared of you nigga you boy oh boy turned into a balloon but luffy was done playing games he punched the living shit out of dofi this man flew all the way down to the streets and i ain't gonna lie dofi started getting dog walked this man ain't felt so much pain since he was getting beat as a child so this man doflamingo went to his last resort he said fuck it i'm already destroying the country so i might as well turn everything into string so he ends up using his awakening and just throwing buildings of just string at him but luffy still did not care he flew over to this man and hit him with that Leo Bazooka and Dofi went to flying and just pinned in the mountain. This Damn. one should have been over right here, but nope. This is one piece. Dead. Cause Luffy ran out of time on Gear Force. The man literally <laughs> deflated right before he was about to finish him. And this gave Dofi enough time to recover. And this man was more pissed off than ever. He Damn. went on a rampage looking for this man Luffy. Bro started killing everybody. It got to the point where if you got in this man's way, you died. <laughs> He started That's moving the bird cage in closer. He was about to wipe the whole island off the map. So then here come Viola trying to do something against this 69 god. And I'm not even gonna waste no time on this. Y'all already know what happened. She got beat the fuck up. I don't even know why she tried this. Like Shorty, no. You are her getting your <laughs> smashed in. And then look at this, bro. He started hanging her by the string. Oh no, nigga. My nigga, this is harassment. Nah, buddy. <laughs> you're done. You're done after this. We know you did it. The allegations had to be true, especially after this scene. You it's not like us, buddy. This image is staying exactly like it is. And then you tried to make Rebecca kill her dog. Now, nah, this man, Doflamingo, is pure evil. This man is a sick ass nigga. So, in Sukunelo. Oh, thank God Luffy finally came over and he said, hell nah, your ass is going to jail. So he charged up that King Kong gun and yelled at that nigga, take your freaky ass to impel down and blasted this man Dofi through the earth's crust. And it was over. Anime Diddy was finally defeated. Anime Diddy. So after this, they locked this man up in the depths of impel down and this man should never get out again. But let's be honest with ourselves. Sometime sooner or later, this nigga's getting out. Yeah. Somebody gonna make the call to Jayoma. Yeah. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I with all these damn is, charges, yeah. this is why this man is on this round table. There mm. should be no discussion. This is one sick ass nigga. So yeah, uh, the faded Doflamingo video. <laughs> we finally did. What is now, this? Know, uh, the Mario Kart uh, lobby music man is giving me PTSD of RDC uh, racist man. Anyway. Yeah, this is the end. Well, right? What might happen to this? So, uh, hey, fingers crossed. Uh, like the. This is a long video, CJ. This is long, bruh. I'll catch y'all next time, bruh. Damn.